Good morning, this is your severe weather outlook for Monday, March 16, 2020. I am Extreme Weather's AI meteorologist, James Johnson. Here are your severe weather headlines in under a minute. First, heavy snow will produce multiple feet of snow for the Sierra Nevada. And finally, there is a slight risk of excessive rainfall over parts of Southern California. A large and slow-moving storm system will deliver locally heavy rain, possible flooding and heavy mountain snowfall to California and the Great Basin early this week. Meanwhile, a system just west of Hawaii will continue to impact the Hawaiian Islands through Tuesday with heavy rain, the risk for thunderstorms and possible flooding, along with gusty winds. And now here is your detailed severe weather outlook for today. An upper-level low will slowly move southward along the west coast through Tuesday into Wednesday morning pushing a slow-moving cold front ahead of it through California as a stalled front remains across the Intermountain West. The upper-level low will aid in streaming a plume of moisture into southern-central California through Tuesday afternoon. These features are expected to lead to persistent precipitation for the Great Basin into California. Heavy snow will develop over higher elevations of the Sierra Nevada, producing snow measured in multiple feet. In lower elevations of coastal California, rain will continue through Tuesday morning. Rainfall amounts could be over 2 inches, which may cause scattered flooding and flash flooding in some locations. Urban areas and burn scars could particularly have these problems. A secondary surge of moisture will move into parts of central California as rain returns to the coastal northern central California by Tuesday evening. A front will meander across the southern plains through the lower Mississippi Valley and southeast through Tuesday evening. Moisture from the western Gulf of Mexico will stream northward over the southern plains into the lower Mississippi Valley, overrunning the front, producing scattered showers and thunderstorms across those regions and northward. Rain amounts could reach over an inch across portions of Texas, eastern Oklahoma, and Arkansas through Monday night, so there is some potential for isolated flash flooding. The Big Bend area of Texas can expect the possibility of severe thunderstorms Monday. Lighter rain is possible for the Tennessee Valley, Lower Ohio Valley, and the southeast on Monday into Tuesday. Overnight Tuesday, showers and thunderstorm will expand northward into parts of the Central Plains and Middle Mississippi Valley. While rain and snow will develop over parts of the Upper Mississippi Valley into parts of the Upper Great Lakes overnight Tuesday into Sunday. The snow will also move eastward across the Upper Great Lakes on Monday. Overnight Monday into Tuesday, snow and rain will move into New England exiting the area overnight Tuesday. The northern high plains will remain below average temperature-wise the next couple of days. The west coast should also have high temperatures 10 to 20 degrees below average, with the influence from the upper low. Meanwhile south of the front, the Gulf Coast states can expect warm temperatures, generally about 10 degrees above average. This is James Johnson reporting for Extreme Weather. Our weather information is derived from the National Weather Service, Weather Prediction Center, located in College Park, Maryland. Our outlook uses AI technology developed by Extreme Weather, and our audio broadcast is digitally mastered by Jarvis Media Group. Have a fantastic start to your week. And let's stay weather aware today. This broadcast is made possible in part by Extreme Weather. Funding for this broadcast is provided in part by our viewers and their donations. We would like to thank our viewers for their continued support of this extreme weather program. Thank you for listening and please check back often for further weather updates that may impact you and your area.